Hello everyone, and welcome to ECS 36B. I know you're interested in getting programming right away, but before we do, we have to get you set up and get you all of the tools that you need installed. For us, we need to get two different things. We need to get our build tools, as well as an editor to write our code in. The build tools are what's going to take our source code and convert it into an executable. And for us, we're going to need to get max Xcode tools, and we're also going to need to get CMake, and for an editor, you are welcome to use whatever you've liked if you've used something in the past. But for this class, we're going to be using C-Line. And so any examples you can see in class will be based around that. So I do highly recommend that you do install C-Line and at least give it a try. So to get our compiler, first thing you have to do is open the terminal. You can find that in Finder under Terminal. And then um, you should be able to find it in Application slash Utilities. I unfortunately don't have a Mac. I'm running Windows, so I can't show you exactly how to do that. But once you locate the terminal and open it up, you're going to want to run this code right here, xcode select space dash dash install. You should get a little pop up asking you if you do want to install these things. Select yes, enter username and password, and let it install. Um, if you get an error that's not says it's not currently available, that probably means you already have it, or it might tell you you already have it installed, which means you're already good to go. And then just to double check that everything was installed correctly um, after it's done installing, you can run GCC space dash V. And if everything was installed correctly, you should see a whole bunch of just stuff show up on your screen. Um, and if it wasn't installed, you should get an error saying that uh, it wasn't able to find the application GCC. And if you get that error, you're going to want to stop by uh, office hours so that we can get that fixed. The next thing that we need to do is get CMake installed. So to get CMake installed, go over to this website right here, cmake.org slash download. Scroll down until you get to this area where we have the binary distributions and you're gonna be looking for Mac because you're running Mac. Get the damage file downloaded and go ahead and run that. It should be pretty simple to walk through. Uh, the one thing to note is if you're uh, asked for the option of adding CMake to your path, uh, select yes, because you'll want to do that. If it doesn't give you the option, that's perfectly okay. And then once that's installed, we have all of our build tools down and we're good to go. We just need to get C-Line. Um, a brief mention on the C-Line tutorial installation that's coming up. Again, I don't have Mac, so you're gonna see me installing it on Windows. So some of the screens might be a little bit different and you might need to go to a little bit of a different area to find the preference, uh, to find the preferences. So we're gonna get there right now. Okay, now that our computers have restarted, it's time to open up C-Line. So find the shortcut on your desktop and open it up. And since you probably haven't ever installed C-Line um, in the past, select do not import settings. It should be the only option that you have. Then choose your preferred theme. I like light. Then go to next. Um, at this point, uh, C-Lion should be able to locate your tool chain to use for building, your make, your C compiler, your C++ compiler, and your debugger. So we're going to wait here for a second to double check that uh, C-Lion is indeed able to find all those things. Uh, if C-Lion isn't able to find them automatically, we're going to have to manually point uh, C-Lion to each one of these applications. But great, we don't have to do that. It found them all. So we'll go for default plugins. Um, by default, all of these um, should say to install all, and we do want all of them. So just click next for featured plugins. And for your featured plugins, you probably want to install all of them except for the idea of them. Um, if you like Vim and you've used Vim in the past and you want a Vim experience inside C-Line, go ahead and install it. But for everybody else, don't click on that one because it's probably going to make your life really terrible because it has a very different way of interacting with the editor than you're probably used to. So now that we have everything installed, click Start Using C-Line. And it should open up. Now, sometime during the course of you using C-Line, it's probably going to ask you to verify uh, your installation. Um, if it doesn't, or if you just wanna do it manually, you can go down here to configure and you can click manage license. And then you can enter your JetBrains account information 
and it will um, be linked to your JetBrains account and it'll make your subscription active so you'll have a uh, full license for using the product and it won't keep reminding you or deny you some access to some of the features. Um, but just to double check that everything is going to be working okay, we're going to just run a simple Hello World project. So we'll click on New Project and we're going to make this a C executable. So we'll click on C executable. Make sure that you choose executable and not library. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to be able to run. For our standard, we're going to select the, the 2011 standard. And then we're going to need to save it somewhere. Uh, there will be some default project directory to save things. Again, I'm not going to recommend that you use this one. You're going to want to select your own location for your projects so that you know where to find them and they're easier for you to locate. So I'm going to go to my D drive and I have my C line programs. So inside C line programs, I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this folder uh, Hello World and select OK. Select OK again. This is the directory where your project is going to be placed. We say create. And we wait a second. Now C line is always a bit slow about getting things up and running uh, the very first time that you load a project. So you're going to have to wait a little bit until the processes down here are finished running. Um, but once it finishes loading our CMake project and, you know, developing all the, sig the symbols and loading them all and saving them, uh, you should be able to run it. And you should eventually see that this green arrow up here um, becomes uh, playable. It should probably happen before the, the symbols are finished building. So we'll go ahead and we'll click play. And it's going to build our project. So we wait for that to happen. And then you can see that Hello World printed out. So everything's set up and good to go, and everything's running. Um, and so you're all set up. One thing that I do recommend that you probably check out are your settings. Reaching them in Windows is going to be File and then Settings. But I believe in uh, Mac, you have to click the little Apple and then go to Settings. And then you're probably going to want to change some things around with the editor. I like my font a little bit bigger. So I like. 18 point font uh, just to help me see a little bit and then I also recommend that you go underneath the code style and C++ style and then we're going to want to set from a predefined style and we're going to use Google style or if you have another style that you like you can go ahead and change things there's also some other things that I like to change around with the spaces and the blank lines um, for example I like to go under spaces and it's down here and I like my spaces after my stars in my declaration and it should pop you down to the area where this change is going to be made and it should update it but it still might not happen because it's still you can see loading in the background I also like my uh, spaces after my ampersand in the declaration and not before it these things are all personal preference for what you like um, so go ahead and just play around with things to see what looks best to you. And then I will see you in class for when we actually start going through how to program in C and C++. See you then.